offering is the truth. Nothing more. You can see this is the Gleason's new standard map of the world. It says scientifically and practically correct as it is. Nowhere on this map does it say that this is a projection map of a globe. But you know what it does say? It says new standard map of the world on the projection of J.S. Christopher, Modern College, Blackheath, England. Scientifically and practically correct as it is. Okay, now here's where everybody needs to pay attention. Here's where the Glober is going to come in and try to tell you that this is a projection map of a globe. Okay, but they are wrong. It is a projection map of the flat earth being presented onto a paper, onto surface. Now, if you don't understand that, let me show you here. Projection. Okay. The presentation of an image on a surface especially a movie screen. Now that's as deep as we're gonna go on that because the definition explains itself, common sense. But here's what we are gonna go into real quick. Like I said before, this is Gleason's new standard map of the world on the projection of J.S. Christopher. Now let's go to the University of Milwaukee. Here we are, Gleason's new standard map of the world. And there's an image of the map, but let's go down here below that. Now, right down here under item description, full title, Gleason's New Standard Map of the World on the Projection of J.S. Christopher, Modern College, Blackheath, England, Scientifically and Practically Correct as it is. Short title, Flat Earth, 1892-2013. Now, being that this specific map that I have is from the Boston Public Library, let's go to Boston's Rare Maps and see what they say about Gleason himself and J.S. Christopher the man who made the map. Okay, extraordinary rare 1892 flat earth map by Alexander Gleason. Now, let's stroll down here and see what we got going on. Now, this is just a description of the map which is on the map. We wanna know the details behind the map, the story behind the map. So, like I was saying, as we stroll past uh, the description of the map, what we wanna do is go down here show you here it says things get weird though with the description key on the back of the map which ends with the sentence the demonstration has reference to either considerations the earth a globe or a plane take your choice to make sense of all this one must refer to Gleason is the Bible from heaven is the earth a globe Buffalo electrotype and engraving company 1890 with an enlarged second edition in 1893. There, he marshals scripture, quirkly interpretations of physical science, shoddy observation, and dollops of common sense to argue that the earth is flat, stationary, and the center of the cosmos. Late in the work, he announces and describes his new map, which is the one that I just showed you guys at the beginning of the video. And here, he's just uh, explaining the colors of the map, what all it contains, the continents, the islands, the rivers, and whatnot. But what we want to do is stroll down to here. And it says, in any event, he presumably chose not to mention his flat earth views in the application in order to avoid the risk of rejection by the patent office. Okay, so now here we have Alexander Gleason. Let's stroll down the page here. Okay, Alexander Gleason, November 28th, 1827 to March 13, 1909, when as an American machinist and civil engineer, a proponent in his later years of flat earth theory, and in particular, noted for his new standard map of the world, 1892, the one that we are speaking of, the one that I just showed you. Okay, now let's stroll down here a little further to the press coverage and see what it says. Okay, Buffalo and the Earth, an intelligent journal says the world is our oyster. Buffalo Commercial, Buffalo, New York, 721, November 1890. Is it any wonder that Alexander Gleason of number 1201 Niagara Street is making an effort to prove that the Earth is flat? Nowadays, nothing seems impossible to a Buffalonian. When Mr. Gleason has successfully demonstrated his theory in regard to our planet, he will doubtless take possession 
of the earth in the name of his native city. There was a time when Chicago waved the palm for greatest exhibition and municipal claims. The tide of empire, however, has begun to set eastward. Buffalo, the world is yours. Satetic and theoretic defined. Buffalo commercial, Buffalo, New York, 624 March 1893. Again, there has arisen in our midst with bold attack upon the present system of astronomy and geodesy, a work of surpassing magnitude by one Alexander Gleason of our own city, published by the Buffalo Electrotype and Engraving Company, and for sale by either of the above name. The work referred to bears of the title, Is the Bible from Heaven? Is the Earth a Globe? While it is manifest from a moment's glance that to the first interrogation, there is no doubt in the mind of the writer as to the inspiration of the word. In regard to the second, if the diagrams and statistical measurements are correct, there remains some hard shelled nuts for our scientists to crack. So people, as you can see, Alexander Gleason was a flat earther and without a shadow of a doubt, this is his flat earth map and I just gave you the history of the flat earth map and Mr. Gleason. Now let's move on to J.S. Christopher. The subtitle of Gleason's map credits the projection to J.S. Christopher of Modern College Blackheath. Okay, now let's stroll down and see about Christopher. Uh, it says he was born 1805 in Dartmouth, Devon, was a merchant active in the East, blah, 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 blah. Now, at some time in life, Christopher got hooked on Samuel Burley Robotham's Zetetic Astronomy. Now, if you're not familiar with who Samuel Burley Robotham is, he wrote a book in 1864 called Earth Not a Globe. Both Zetetic Astronomy and Christopher's map made their way across the Atlantic and found inheritance here in the United States. Alexander Gleason among them. Somehow Gleason got hold of Christopher's map and republished it. Not once, but twice. And if you look a little further down, it says Gleason's 1885 flat earth map is so rare that only images I find are reproductions such as this one on eBay. His second map of 1892 offered here is almost equally rare. So now that we have established that this is a projection map of a flat earth, through detailed research that I just showed you and showed you how Alexander Gleason and J.S. Christopher are both flat earthers. And this is their flat earth map. And even the pretty lady here on the news will tell you it's not a projection map of the globe. It's a flat earth map with the North Pole in the center and the ice walls holding everything in. Check it out. The curving horizon, the sloping sea level, the spin of the earth. Unless you can see these phenomena with your own eyes, they may not be true. Unlike what we've been told in school, the earth looks like a snow globe, round but not sphere. The North Pole is at the center of most flat earth maps with the ice of Antarctica holding everything in. You see, even the news lady knows that this is a flat earth map. Anyways. Like I was saying, this was just another miserable failed attempt for the Globetars to try to convince you to live in their illusion that this is a globe projection map. It's not. And I just proved that to you. So we just debunked that bull crap. So these globe earthers that are on YouTube getting paid to make you think they're smart and know what they're talking about, you need to get your crayons and start over again with your illusional bull crap. Because we just proved to everybody how stupid you are with the projection of the real flat earth map. Everyone, thanks for watching. Have a good evening and God bless. All I'm offering is the truth. Nothing more.